Welcome to SoCal Cyclist Podcast, episode number 41, the podcast that brings you the people and practice of the Peloton. With me co-hosting today is my good friend, Lexi. How are you today? I'm good. How are you, Brian? Good. I'm so glad to have you here. I've wanted to have you on for a long time. Tell us, uh, tell us what you do in the world of cycling. Uh, well, first of all, thanks for having me. Really excited to be here. Um, I am the Southern California brand experience rep for Osos. Um, it's a, a new role for me. I've been in the cycling industry for about three years now, um, and I just started with Osos in August. So um, excited to be working with our dealers down here and putting on events. And uh, we have this new mobile uh, boutique pop-up shop that I'll be talking about a little later. Yeah, um, that's, that I that's the to... one with the, uh, it looks like a military machine yeah, barreling down the road. A lot of people are like, what the heck is that thing? Um, <laughs> And actually, it's funny out riding in some group rides since since we've had it and since I've been taking it around to shop. Some um, people are like, are you the Lexi that drives the truck? <laughs> so You're like, it's gotten is there, quite a bit of attention. Is there any other Lexi? <laughs> um, that's cool. So yeah, we'll talk more about that later, but welcome to the show. So glad you're here. Um, let's get go ahead and start it right away, and let's do some listener feedback. And today we've got some listener feedback uh, all the way from the great white north up in Canada. Our second, our second Canadian uh, listener feedback. So go ahead and take that away. All right. This note is from Terry Betcher. Um, he says, hey, Brian, I've been meaning to send you a note for a few weeks now. Hearing about a note from another Canadian cyclist on your latest podcast spurred me on. We also live in Canada and live in a pretty remote area, 100 miles to a Walmart or McDonald's remote. We spend a fair bit of time on our trainers in the winter, but also spend a lot of time out on our fat bags cruising on frozen rivers. It's fantastic. I've included a, few, uh, a couple photos. We spent a month in Oceanside last winter and biked the coast every day, even did a group ride with the Swamis on Saturday. We are coming back in March to do a couple of triathlons and spend a lot of time riding from Oceanside to Del Mar. Thanks for the great podcast. It helps us remember the one wonderful time we had in your area. Keep up the great work, Terry and Leslie Betcher. Oh, thanks, Terry and Leslie. And a uh, hundred miles from a Walmart or McDonald's, depending on who you ask, could either be a great thing <laughs> or a not so great thing. But Man, and they send in some great pictures too. They uh, yeah, these pictures are really cool. Lots of lots of snow. Tons of snow. They have these fat bikes, uh, and I don't think I've even ever ridden my bike in the snow, let alone like a fat bike on an unblazed trail somewhere. Have you ever been on a fat bike? Uh, no, I'm, I haven't. I'm not a a dirt girl. I pretty much stick to the road. But um, I was actually up in Canada, our headquarters. Um, for North America's in Montreal, and they uh -huh. got me on a fat bike um, on some little trails between ski slopes on Mont Tremblant, and it was quite a, it was quite a blast. It cool. Was not very pretty because I'm not the best on the dirt, but I had a good time. <laughs> you have the fitness though on the road to carry you. <laughs> that's for sure. Well, let's go ahead and get into the much anticipated gear guide. And with gear guide today, we of course have the foremost expert on Osso's clothing. And um, she's not only here to co-host today, but also talk about this great clothing brand, Asos. So first of all, it is pronounced Asos, right? It is. We say Asos like awesome, so people can remember. Asos like awesome. <laughs> remember that, people. Um, and I'm lucky enough to have a couple really cool pieces um, with us today. First, I want to kind of talk about, I would say, the second most important piece of your cycling technology other than your bike, which is your bibs. Um, and also it's like awesome, uh, has created some really good ones. Go ahead and, uh, Definitely. what do we got going so on here? What we have here is our Akeep bib short. So this is our entry level, uh, race fit short, somewhat something that's perfect for someone like you that's, um, out racing crits and also doing a lot of training on those, um, aggressive swamis group rides. Um, but so to talk a little bit about the chamois technology, um, also every, chamois in each of our levels of shorts is completely different um, mm -hmm. and constructed um, to kind of fit the anatomy of the rider. So this particular chamois is kind of heavy up front for more of a um, aggressive position on the bike. 
Um, also, it's an eight millimeter memory foam pad. Um, most of our construction is patented, so you won't see this type of chamois in any other short. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually flip it open here, which is kind of cool, and see the padding. And it's actually split, and it's the same idea as a um, split saddle. So it's going to alleviate some of that central pressure. Um, as well as create some ventilation through the shorts. And then one thing I pointed out to you um, when, when I gave these to you is that a lot of people think we didn't, we forgot to sew a section yeah. of these, <laughs> um, but actually that is done on purpose. So this, the idea is that the chamois moves with you and the shorts move with your bike. Um, so that's gonna alleviate any sort of chafing problems that you might um, encounter. Um, so yeah, this is our a keep short. It's a, a super great uh, fit for those of you that are out there training um, quite a bit and racing those SoCal crit series. Um, a lot of people, one thing I do want to point out is the price point. A lot of people think we only sell $500 pairs of bib shorts, which um, we you, do we have do some high-end bib shorts, <laughs> yes. Um, but we also have, um, you know, some that are pretty comparable to any of of the top of the line bibs on the market. So these uh, come in at 219 uh -huh. uh, retail. And what's cool too is that on the bib strap, it even has like a little. Yeah, that's little a little eyewear holder. hook. Um, <laughs> I don't really use it very often, but it is a cool feature. Yeah, no, it, it, it is great. I've, uh, I've taken it out and put it through the ringer, and um, the fit is perfect. Um, you know, I'm, I just, I'm one of those people, I don't think. I don't think I even own non bibs. Mm -hmm. Like I, once you go bibs, you'll just you'll never Definitely. go back to anything else. Uh, and then also too, um, the stitching super high quality. The grippers are strong. They don't ride up as as sometimes um, other shorts do. And the cool thing is on the bib, the bib strap is actually nice and wide. It doesn't cut into you like mm -hmm. other um, bibs can. Especially when it's really tight and you're leaning over, it doesn't cut into you at all. Um, and I wear a heart rate monitor under underneath, so it's like two straps and then another strap. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm all locked Lots in. Lots going on. A lot going on, um, which is really cool. Um, and then, so, yeah, some of the vibe, I don't know vibe, but the impression of Asos is it's very, very high-end mm -hmm. clothing. But... Is that something the company is going to be looking to change in, in the future? Or? Um, we have some new uh, price point uh, shorts and tights coming out. It's a, our Miele collection. So the new Miele bib shorts we'll be releasing in March. Um, those, and those will actually be coming out at 159 retail. Um, you'll still get all the same Osso's quality, just not um, quite as many of the bells and whistles and fabric treatments that we do on some of our higher end shorts. Um, but one thing we like to talk a lot about is kind of uh, miles per dollar. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, you might be investing a little bit more money uh, in this pair of shorts, but um, the, the technology and the um, engineering that goes into these shorts, they're built to last a long time. So um, our goal is for you to spend buy less um, and buy quality, and right. so you're getting more use out yeah, of it. Yeah, just like with clothing, you know, less people are getting into fast fashion and, mm -hmm. you know, more clothing that, that is really going to, it is kind of an investment. I mean, you spend lots of money on your bike. Mm -hmm. Why not spend, you know, the same amount of money that, you know, comes in contact with your skin and you sweat in. Exactly. Um, cool. And the other thing, too, is you have a kind of a cool announcement uh, coming up at the uh, Tour of California. Yeah, so um, this is something new and exciting that uh, we haven't really had the chance to talk about yet. Um, but we will be the technical apparel sponsor for Tour of California and doing all of the leaders' jerseys um, out there. So right now we're working on uh, the jersey designs, and we'll be releasing those with a big um, PR announcement here in the next month or so. So all right, it's a really exciting um, partnership for us to pursue here in 2017. Yeah, well, you heard it first here on SoCal Cyclist Podcast. Asos is stepping up. Um, they are going to be at I would, I'm willing to say America's biggest cycling event, which is Tour of California. Mm -hmm. It's now going to be a world tour level race. So it, it's going to bring in tons of international attention. And uh, every leader's jersey, whether it's uh, the yellow jersey, the climber's jersey, sprinter, I'm sure it's just going to look so, so good. So 
I just be... saw um, one of the the Young Rider jersey, mm -hmm. um, and they actually commissioned a graffiti artist artist to do it. So no it's way! Looking pretty cool. No, it, definitely that's California right yeah. there. A graffiti. <laughs> hear that, Young Riders? <laughs> If you are a what U twenty three writer and you get the best young writer jersey, it'll it'll be something that you could tell your children about. So that, <laughs> that's great. Uh, let's go ahead and get into episode number forty one. We have a fantastic guest, Lexi, in Amber Nieben. She I'm, is a phenomenon. I'm really excited um, to hear from this female cyclist. Uh, I was actually doing a little research on her to kind of prepare for this and. Realized we both had the same birthday, which was pretty exciting for me. Yeah. All, all you <laughs> have to do soon. is a, uh, win a world championship and, <laughs> and you're, you're like on twins. the same place. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> twins. Uh, yeah. So Amber is great. She, uh, she came down, she did the podcast. Um, she's kind of, we talked about her experience winning the gold medal at Doha in the women's TT, not to mention her years of experience in the pro Peloton. Um, being a national champ, a two-time Olympian. Um, she's kind of done it all, but then when you talk to her, she's just very pragmatic about things, which makes it seem just kind of down to earth. Like, you know, if you were to see her at the grocery store, you wouldn't think twice that, you know, here's this world champion among you, but she's great. And the cool thing too is she has represented USA Cycling 15 times or 15 years. Um, and the clothing mm -hmm. is also coincidentally Oslo's clothing. Yeah, that's been um, another big partnership for us uh, here. We actually announced that back in 2016, just a few months ago, um, that we're now the USA Cycling apparel sponsor as well. So um, out in Rio, they were wearing um, uh, Osos and mm -hmm. will continue, um, I think, until 2020. So yeah. long sponsorship for us. Yeah, and the thing is, when you think of custom most people don't think Osos, but at the same token they're with usa cycling what are some of the other teams that are on? uh we just announced bmc the pro team will be um all in Osos this year as well uh the swiss federation team also wears Osos, mm. and then tour of california um and we do produce club gear um for a lot of our dealers um and some local clubs Awesome. That's fantastic. Well, we can't wait to find out more about Osos. How can, how can people find them online? Um, Osos.com. You can definitely find us there. We have a great uh, section with all of our dealers, a store locator. Um, it'll kind of give you a breakdown of, uh, we have some pro shops that carry a larger collection all the way down to standard shops. Um, a lot of them here in SoCal, you can find Ride Cyclery, Moment, California Bikes. Um, if you're up in LA, um, Bike Effect, uh, Sirius Cycling is a big partner of ours. We'll also be doing the Malibu Grand Fondo jersey, mm -hmm. um, which is coming up here in March. That's a, been a partnership for the past few years. Um, and what about Canada? Just for our Canadian listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually got to go up there. Um, so our, like I said, our headquarters is in Montreal. So we have quite a few dealers around there. And we just had our sales meeting in Toronto. Um, so there's a new store up there that I got to visit called The Eleven. That was really cool. Nice. Um, big, big Osos carrier. They actually had a guy in the front display window on a trainer wearing Osos. As really? It's kind of like the front display, which was pretty cool. Wow. Was yeah. he on like rollers or something? Or? Yeah, he was on rollers, sitting there for a few hours, getting Yikes. his training in. <laughs> Jeez, well, that's amazing. Hey, great, great to have you on. Um, love to hear more about Asos. But for now, let's go ahead and get into episode number 41 with Amber Nieben. <laughs> 